guys, I'm more here, and today we are not in the Rebel Brahalla. We are doing something pretty awesome. Something that I've been working towards for a long time. You might be able to see some of this here. I've already talked. Talked? I've already mentioned this in one of my videos, multiple of my videos actually. This is what I've been working towards for a long time now, a couple months, probably, probably even more, of just saving up money and budgeting and all the money that you guys have given me through donations, even YouTube just paid me for the first time ever. Oh my gosh. For the first time in like almost one in 1.7, 1.8 years, almost two years, almost, YouTube finally paid me. You wanna know how much? It was the minimum amount. <laughs> you can look that up. I'm not gonna say, it's, it's, a, it's a very trade secret deal. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about my streaming PC. So obviously I have a gaming PC that's really good. It's also, I mean, I could stream with it and game with it at the same time as, as I've done, obviously. You guys have seen that in my streams, but I wanted a dual PC setup with a capture card, a better processor, it's better RAM, etc. for specifically streaming as well as rendering videos and Photoshop and all this other stuff, you know what I mean? Because this processor, while it's really good for gaming, it only has, I think, four cores. It's not very good for um, multiple, like, rendering, for multiple tasks, like rendering and all that encoding, all that stuff. So, we finally have the parts to our new PC, and I'm going to show you them all. And we'll start off with the case. Why not? I'm actually going to be building this as well, but we'll get into that in a minute. So this is the case. It's, uh... It's just a pretty standard, it's like a mid case, it's a, uh, whatever you call it, thermal, it's it's actually white. You can't really see, ooh. Might have to cover that up. It's actually white, and you'll see that later in the video. I already opened it up, actually. Yeah, but I haven't taken it out. See, it's white. It's pretty cool. This, uh, all along here lights up too, apparently. Like the, the middle bit there. It's got some RGB, LED, RGBs. Let's not do the best thing. Let's not do the best thing right away. Let's just go. Let's do simple stuff. So we have our power supply here. Very basic. Very very simple power supply. Uh, what do you call it? VS series 450 watt Corsair power supply. It's just a super basic one. I don't really know much about this. I had someone who knows more about computers, Lucian Sword, help me <laughs> pick out all these parts and make sure that they're all fit and stuff. Because I'm not really super smart when it comes to computers, but. We have just a basic graphic card. Look at this thing. It's like a GeForce 210. It's uh, it gets the job done if that job is literally just have an HDMI port. <laughs> that's literally that's the only reason that I have this. I'm not gonna be using this for basically anything. It is just an HDMI port. It's a thirty dollar HDMI port, pretty much. So this thing, very basic. This is literally just a one terabyte hard drive. One terabyte hard drive. I do not have an SSD for this because I didn't think I would need one. I don't really, I'm not planning on transferring loads of files in between my computers because all the footage will be recorded on that computer and it'll be edited on that computer and it'll be uploaded on that computer. So I don't think I'm going to be doing much that would require an SSD. So let's move on. I mean, obviously we got Windows 10. These things are actually really cool nowadays. Our, the last time I bought Windows was... um like Windows XP or something, like maybe Windows 7, and it came in a CD, yeah, it was Windows 7, and it came in a CD, and now they don't come in CDs anymore, they come in a flash drive, that's pretty cool, isn't it? And then you got this guy, which is your key, I guess, don't look at that, but yeah, that's the key, it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's pretty cool, I gotta be careful, I don't show you guys, you know, all my bank information, and all my key information, by the way, this is stupidly expensive, this thing is like, my god, this thing was like $140 or something ridiculous. Someone needs to make up a better processing system. Or operating system. Processing system. Operating system. Mac sucks. Linux is not as good as Windows. We need a better one than Windows, so that way we can actually have some freaking... This isn't a monopoly, and they can charge whatever the hell they want. $140 for that. Are you kidding me? Well, a pretty expensive motherboard. <laughs> this is one of the higher ends. X470 Aorus Gaming 7 Wi-Fi. The so specifically, the reason that I had to get this motherboard is because of the AM4 socket. Now, oh my god, oh my god, 
course. It's like fog just coming out of here. It's like shh. It's so beautiful. Like, God, I don't even know if you can see it, but it's just amazing. But whatever the case, it needed a specific socket set, chip set for the uh, RAM that I had to get with it. The reason I had to get such an expensive one, normally I would have had to get like a hundred dollar cheaper one, would be just fine for the uh, processor that I got, which I'll get to in a second. But someone, Zacharion, gifted me some RAM, some really nice RAM, which I'll get to right now. This bad boy. This RAM is, uh, it's DDR4-3400, and it's uh, two sticks of eight gigabytes. 8 gigabytes RAM, so like 16 gigabytes of uh, 3400. Freaking, oof. So fast, it's insane. So this is like 200 something dollars. So it's like either spend $100 and get like $140 RAM, which would be good enough. Like 100, it, you'd end up spending the same amount of money for something that's a lot worse, basically. Not a lot worse, but definitely worse. So it's like this being gifted to me ended up saving me money even though I had to spend $100 more on a motherboard. But, very grateful to Zacharian for that. Here is the brain. A Ryzen 2700X, Ryzen 7 2700X processor. I'm just gonna read this out. Eight cores, 16 threads, 4.3 gigahertz max boost, 3.7 gigahertz based. This bad boy, is just that, it is a bad boy. Oh my God, this thing will be able to process all of my streams, render all of my footage so ridiculously fast. I cannot wait to pop that into my streaming PC. And it fits in this motherboard, oh my gosh. We're gonna be assembling this probably today over at my brother's house, Lucian Sword. Those are all the parts. Oh no, there's one more part that I don't have with me. One more part, I have an Elgato, obviously a capture card, a PCI capture card that I also purchased off of Zacharion that's going to be going in that PC. So the PC in total costed around like $1,200. And that one also costed like $1,200 when I bought it. So now I have, now that one's much cheaper. That one probably costs like a thousand, maybe. Maybe, maybe about a thousand. I don't know, it'd be close, it'd be close. But, super excited about this. And I will see you in a little bit. Okay, we are actually on our way over to my brother's house, Lucian Sword, to assemble this computer. Should be pretty flippin' sick. And that funny story, I was at my, I was when I was leaving my house, my brother, one of my other brothers was visiting, I got five brothers, by the way. One of them was visiting and they were like, what are you doing? I was, taking, I was loading up my PC parts to go to Lucian's house and he was like, I was like, oh, going over to Lucian's house to build a PC. And he's like, oh, cool, can I have your old one? And I was like, ha ha, good one. And he, <laughs> got him. And, <laughs> and he was like, what, you can't use two PCs at once? And I was like, actually, <laughs> it's actually the whole purpose of me purchasing this PC is to use two PCs at once. So uh, yeah, that's a thing. Sorry about your luck. Sorry about your luck, other brother. Other brother from the same mother. Sick.
And there you have it, guys. I'm sorry that the time-lapse footage wasn't as good as it could have been, but honestly, that's like as good as like I was expecting. <laughs> but it still turned out okay in the end. But as you can see, the computer is done. I have since done a little bit more management with the cord, so it looks a little bit better now. And everything seems to be lit up, except for the front. I still can't figure out how to light up the LEDs on the front. I've re-plugged repro it in in different sockets. I've like looked around, I've Googled, I don't know, I can't figure it out. Maybe I will eventually though. But this is the PC, the finished streaming PC, and you will see it in the background of all of my videos now. And uh, thank you so much. I could not have done, I could not have gotten this without your guys' help. I really appreciate it. And here's to a great future. Have a great day, everyone.